Kevin Estra is enjoying a resurgence season with new teammate Neil Jarni fighting for the GT World Endurance Championship. The 32-year-old from Lyon attributes his success to the support of a close-knit Porsche GT team and his upbringing in France. My father and my grandfather were driving in go-kart and single-seater, uh, so I've been born basically on a racetrack. And I got my first go-kart at the age of four and started from there. So uh, quite early I, I knew this was going to be my goal to drive race cars to uh, convert my passion into my, my job. Back in France this August, Estra raced to a podium finish at Le Mans in front of the eyes of the world. A far cry from his early days in French Carrera Cup racing. Staying in France doesn't bring you to a high professional level. So I had the opportunity to go to uh, Porsche Mobile One Super Cup and Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. And there you really had the top level of drivers and team and everything. And it, it teach me to go out a bit of the bubble of the national championship, knowing new tracks, new way of working, speaking German. After I'd done some good years in Carrera Cup, uh, Germany and Super Cup, uh, Porsche asked me, OK, we want to get you for Daytona. And this was my first endurance race in 2012 in a Porsche, which was great for me to learn how the US style racing is and working with different engineers, different way of thinking and knowing a, a different type of racing. Daytona was the launch pad that would lead to a career as a Porsche works driver and with it some happy memories joining the Porsche North America factory team for Sebring, for Petit Le Mans, for Daytona is something great. These are big names in endurance racing and being able to drive there for the factory team with Porsche was something great for me. Driving in these big races with a factory team, Porsche behind you is something very special and you feel that you achieve something as a race driver. Having moved up to the World Endurance Championship, the 2018-19 season would help define the Porsche driver as a GT Endurance star. It was crazy. It was what they called the super season, the season going over two years. And uh, we started well, and I have to say we had highs and low, but uh, a lot more highs than low. And winning in the Pig Pig in the 70 years anniversaries of Porsche was something great. And the competition was really high that year with five factory teams, 17 cars in Le Mans Pro Cars. So it, it's a big honor, and I feel really grateful to have been part of this era and uh, to have won Le Mans and win the World Championship in these great years of 18 and 19. Two WEC victories so far might suggest a repeat performance this season. Winning the 24 hours of the Nürburgring with Michael Christensen in the Manti Racing GT3R Grello was an additional bonus. Michael has been a real key role because in endurance racing, the relation you have with your teammate is very important. We felt straight away that we had the same spirit. It doesn't matter if one driver looks bad for one race because he didn't have new tires. And I think this was a, a big key of our success in WC, same in the Nordschleife, uh, in 24 hours Spa. We won a lot of things together and always together, actually. For my part, he's won a few races before without me. But uh, no, it's a big part of our success is our 92 team being Michael, myself and the performance engineer being a very close group is a big friend, you know, is a good friend of mine. And, and I think this makes sometimes a difference. With Neil Gianni joining the 92 squad this year, another world championship could be on the cards. With Neil this year, having a new teammate was a bit of an unknown, especially with having this strong partnership we had with Michael. So it went quite fast that we understood each other, trust each other, which is very important. The driving style was quite different at the start, and then he got closer, he got used to a GT racing driving style, and he brings his experience from the LMP cars, from faster cars, factory cars. It's been a good start, and I have to say that we think the same way, and we just want to win. So. Um, all good so far.